The plant manager of a company that manufactures office equipment is attempting to determine the process that will be used to assemble a new ergonomic chair. The material, machines and workforce have already been decided. However, there are two methods under consideration. The methods differ by the order in which the separate operations are performed. To help decide which method should be used, an experiment was performed. 25 randomly selected workers each assembled the chair using method A and another 25 workers each assembled the chair using method B. The plant manager would like to know whether the assembly times of the two methods differ. A 5% significance level is judged to be appropriate. Assume normal distribution of the assembly times. From here we can tell that the sample size of the first group who are using method A is 25 and the second group by method B is another 25. So this another tells me that these two groups are independent. So we don't pair them up. So I'll be using an independent t-test but I have to decide whether the variances are equal or not. So if the variances are equal, I will be using independent t-test where I have to pull the variances together. If the variances are unequal, then I'll have to use an approximated t, independent t-test where the variances are not pulled together. So I'm going to write out the null and alternate hypothesis. The null hypothesis is to assume that the variances are equal. So I'm going to write out the ratio of the variances. If the variances are equal, then the ratio should be equal to 1. This means that I've assumed that the variances are equal. Otherwise, the ratio of variances if they're not equal, then the ratio will not be equal to 1. So I'm going to perform an F test because the ratio of variances follows the F distribution. I'm going to perform an F test that is two tail because this is a not equal, the alternate is a not equal. at alpha, which is um, commonly used, will be 5%. So I'm going to go to MIDI tab. As you can see, I've already preloaded the data into MIDI tab. So I'm going to check whether the variances are equal or not. So go to stat, basic stats, two variances. My data are in two columns, so I'm going to select the one that says samples in different columns. The first one, I'm going to use method A. The second group, the second sample, I'm going to use uh, method B. So I'm going to go options and check that I'm using 5%, which matches the confidence interval, confidence level of 95%. I am testing the ratio of variances. And my F-test is a two-tail F-test, so the alternate hypothesis is not equal, this is correct. And I just click equal, OK. And let's see what we have here. So what you have here is um, the null hypothesis, which you know to be the variance of method A over variance of method B is equals to 1, versus alternative hypothesis, which is not equals to 1, at alpha 5%. So what could be useful to you now is that uh, we will look at F-test. So the test statistic is 0.95 and the p-value is 0.91. Let me bring this into my slides now and continue my hypothesis testing. So for Minitab, I know that the test statistic is 0 0.95 and the p-value is 0 0.91. This p-value is quite large, in fact it's bigger than the level of significance, therefore I do not reject 
H0. I do not reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the variances are equal. This means that I will do an independent t-test where the variances are pulled together. So now we will decide if the two methods differ by comparing the mean of the assembly times. Let's write out the hypothesis. The null hypothesis is to assume that the assembly times are the same for method A and method B. So if the assembly times are the same, then the population mean assembly time of method A minus the population mean assembly time of method B will be equals to 0. As opposed to the alternate hypothesis, it means that the population mean of the assembly times does differ, hence the subtraction will not be equals to 0. So I'm going to perform a two-tail test based on the alternate hypothesis, which is not equal. And it's a two-tail independent t-test. with equal variance, which we have, uh, we have checked just now using the ratio of variances test at alpha is 5%. Let's go to mini tab. Now go to stat, basic stats, two sample t. Here again, I have my data in two separate columns, so I have my samples in different columns. My first group will be as method A, my second group is method B, and I will have to check this box that says assume equal variances. Let's go to options. For alpha 5%, it matches, it, uh, it matches this confidence level of 95%. The hypothesized difference is zero, and my Alternative hypothesis is a two-tail which matches this not equal, so this is okay. Let's just select okay. So let's see what we have. So if we can tell from here, the variances has been put together, that's why you see 1.1531 here, that's the put standard deviation. The test statistic is 0 0.92 and the p-value is 0 0.362. Let's continue the hypothesis testing process. So from the mini test output just now you see the test statistic is 0 0.92 and the p-value corresponding to this test statistic is 0 0.362. This p-value is quite large, in fact it's bigger than the alpha which is 5%. Therefore, conclusion is we do not reject H0. We do not reject the null hypothesis, which means that the test is insignificant. So finally, we conclude that the assembly times of the two methods do not differ.